What's up, Upfront fam? Tours Daza here, wishing everyone staying safe at home and also challenging themselves with some new goals, just like our guest for today. So guys, joining us today, we have some volleyball loggies who will be taking up some hosting goals. So let's give an Upfront welcome to Rosie Rocher and Michelle Tong. What's up, girls? Welcome to Upfront again. Welcome back to the show. How are you guys, Michelle and Rosie? Been doing good. Doing? Yeah, busy day. <laughs> How's, how's the quarantine yeah. life been for you guys so far? Um, I've been super enjoying it. I haven't had much time at home kasi, so um, it's something that I treasure talaga. So I like, you know, it's nice being at home. Yeah, true, same. True, true. Like, in, I never get to cook with my mom. So now, like, I really use that time to really bond with my family. Never, um, kasi after this, probably, we're gonna go back to training. Mm-hmm. So my question's for Mitch. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the show you're hosting with Pongai Gaston and Aya Laure? So my question for you is who's your favorite out of- No, I'm kidding. <laughs> tell us more <laughs> about, about the show. <laughs> okay, so the show's name is TBH. Um, it literally means, to be honest, so it's like um, a talk show. It's a casual talk show wherein we talk about um, whatever and ayun, it's just a platform for us to be open to our audience and at the same time learn from the other girls syempre. And I feel like marami ding mahukuhang um, insights yung mga audience namin about us individually and not just us. Yes. Kau naman Rosie, what's um, it like? How's the hosting experience like with with your fellow co-hosts? What's it been like? It's been really fun. Um, it's really different to um, compared to other talk shows because the team nama is really just about kwentuhan, like um, you know, like asking questions and it's never. It's not like an interview kind of um, uh, team. Tapos ayon, we get to share things that other people didn't know about us, or and we get to share life experiences that other people might relate to. And it's, yeah, it's been very sentimental and at the same time, like, um, feels great to share with the other true, girls true. learn from them. Yeah, like what we yeah. said. So guys, since we're all about trying new things and exploring things Dita sa up front, Mitch and Rosie were able to try something new that I'm sure you guys can try at home as well. And that's an online photo shoot. And they were able to be taught by one of the pros in the business. So guys, let's welcome professional photographer, Miss Aya Kabawan. Hi Aya, how are you? Welcome to Upfront. I'm good, thank you for having me. Oh, yes, welcome to the show. <laughs> okay, so first of all, thank you for being on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. My question though is, as a professional photographer, how have you been able to remain productive, be able to creatively um, output your work now that it's been quarantined and you're forced to stay at home? Well, um, since the ECQ, it's been really difficult to go out for everyone. So um, there's this virtual photo shoot trend that's been going around and I wanted to try it for myself. So um, we're able to like test the limits of our creativity at this time. And so I, I was able to do this virtual photo shoot through FaceTime. And uh, yeah, with cooperation with Mitch and Rosie, we were able to get some good shots. Woo! Nice, nice. Rabbit technology nowadays. It's just <laughs> making everyone easier to connect with each other. <laughs> yeah. But tell us how these online photo shoots work, though. Like, um, okay, so each each person, the photographer and then the model, needs to have their own uh, device. It may be a laptop or a phone. And then, uh, well, for our process, true, I can true. bring out my camera and tell them directly or like fix their hair or tell them in a, like, yeah, in a specific manner. And then next is we talked about the outfits and props. So once we had the lighting and, and everything else set, um, we had to come to the theme in mind, what would suit yeah. their personality. 
<laughs> most of most of my shoots naman kasi are really spontaneous. So I really try my best to like get to know the subject or the model and, and to build and to build a good rapport. So for Mish, I was asking her like, so what have you been doing the past UCQ and uh, she was like, oh, you know, just <laughs> bringing in some indoor plants. <laughs> oh, nice. Then, nice. Yeah, so super sakto there, as you can see. <laughs> and yeah. I, I love, I personally love working with plants. So there, I was like, why not make oh. it as a prop? And I also asked her to prepare like her everyday, <laughs> her, her everyday oh, stuff, like reading, reading wow. a book. Or drinking water. Yeah. So we worked around the room. The lang, very environment yeah, so friendly. And then, and then next is Rosie. So um we wanted to do something outdoors since um natural light is really good. And since she had a terrace, we were able to get some shots with the sky and and some interesting backdrops. Yeah. Whoa, 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 wow. Can you explain the storm? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so it was really windy. And that's the thing with virtual shoes. Like, yeah, you can't really control everything in your environment, like a traditional shoot. So there were a lot of bloopers. Yes. <laughs> Very spontaneous. So, Mitch, we know na mahili ka sa mga plants. And for Rosie, you're able to shoot on your terrace. So how would you say that those things are able to reflect your guys' personalities? Actually, it's accurate, no, Rosie? Yeah, super. <laughs> Indoor, <laughs> outdoor. <laughs> and she knows it then. She knows it. Because yeah. I'm a super homie, like, introvert kind of person. <laughs> so like, um, being indoors with my plants just makes me happy. <laughs> like being More like, home body. Know, yeah, like, it, it's true. Um, being outside that like, reflects how outgoing I am, or I like being outside. Like in, I just love, like like in the morning I would have coffee in the terrace, just you know, like, reflecting what nature is. <laughs> what is? Ang lalim no na wow. Okay, guys, it's time for the much-awaited moment. We've been talking about it a lot. So without further ado, let's reveal these photos. Let's check it out. Let's start with Michelle's. Oh, wow! Ah. Star. ganda. Through the glass, <laughs> and we used her her crystal lamp as a light, as, as a light. Wow! That was wow! Yeah. I love it. I. Uh... So yeah, you really have to improvise with lighting to get more creative. Yeah. Like maybe your lamp at home. It's so nice. So I take us through these photos, naman. How did you come yes, up with yes. these editing and stuff? Um, well, in editing, I like to keep it simple. So I, I like to enhance the colors that I have and play around with the color combinations in, in the layout. Wow. So for this one, since we did several poses and it's and the quality in FaceTime isn't, isn't of course, as good as the camera, I like to put them together in diptychs and collages to see the variety in poses. Galang, nice the colors of this one. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> this is really funny because I made her do so many random poses, like stand on her drawer, jump on her bed. <laughs> it worked. See? Oh wow! <laughs> so this is you know quarantine mood, staying in bed all day. Oh my. Oh, yes. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's like your pose now, actually. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This one is the leading. Her, her, oh, her, um, all her indoor plants. I know with her plants. Okay, so those are all the photos of Mitch. Let's move on to the photos of Rosie now. Wow! wow. Okay. okay. So, for this one, um, since we had the outdoors, since we had the outdoors, we played around with silhouettes and sky shots. So, Damn. yep. <laughs> I know, you wouldn't assume that she's at home. Like, this looks like Pang Nasa Beach or something. Yeah, it's very candid. This, this, this looks very candid. So, she was fixing her hair. And since she couldn't see herself, it was... Wow. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh my god, you can really see it. Oh. Uh, how, how yeah. And we had we had a bit of sun. We were we were really lucky this morning. It's been raining the past few days, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Rosie, it's what are your so thoughts nice, on these? Rosie. I love it. It just really shows um I don't know the vibe brand, the the vibe of the of the yes. lights and the colors. Oh, I I love this. Yeah, so we, we use this blanket as a backdrop. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one we saw Kanina. It's actually very nice when, like, in this collage. I love it. Yeah, so it's cute. You, you can see it. It gives, a, it gives it a bit of a warm effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do, like, the... In the bottom photo, there's, like, a white content, like, over her eyes. Oh, it's, you it's a filter layer. of the shades. It's a filter of the shades. Oh, oh which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a filter of the shades. Mm, like, wow! With the glasses. It's so bright. I love it. I love it! So good job, girls. You guys did great. Ang ganda talaga yung mga photos nyo. But actually, I was gonna give you tips sa mga poses. I had my props ready dito. So, yun na. Next time lang yun. I, uh, Ikaw na bahala sa next photo nice. sheet. Sana kasali rin ako. But it's okay. We'll save it for another day. Anyways, so finally, this is definitely one way that you can use your creativity while still being at home. So mm-hmm. ayan naman, my question is, what would be your tips or advice to people who would want to try doing something like this for all our viewers watching? It really depends on your style and what resources you have at home. So it's good to work with what you have. And to try to play around with colors, with props, something that something that you think would represent, I don't know, your experience over the quarantine. So that when you look back at your pictures, you'll remember that 2020 was a really memorable year. <laughs> year. Season, yeah. Yes. We'll look back on this year and, it, and some of the photos will be nice and bring back not only the stuff that's happened, but also the good memories good that memories. we were able to come out from it. Yeah. Okay naman, girls, my question for you, our models for today, what would be your advice to people who want to try something outside of their comfort zone? Ako, ano, just go for it. <laughs> like, no hesitation. I mean, that's that's based on my experience. Like, usually, kasi I doubt and I hesitate. Pero, once you doubt, that's gonna hold you back so just go for it just if there's a an opportunity um, that um, presented to you um, if you try it then you'll learn a lot of things but if you don't parang there's regrets or there's parang oh maybe if I said yes baka ito mangyayari and it's really a learning process like and it's also it will help you grow as a person and find who you are maybe you might like it maybe you might not, then at least you, you learn something, at, you gain something. So guys, there you have it, straight from the TBH girls, and we're joined by professional photographer Aya Kabawatan. Be sure to check out her Instagram pages and social medias down below. Thank you so much. And also, be sure to watch TBH every week dito sa ABS-CBN. Not only that, guys, join us next time as we follow more of your favorite athletes only here on Upfront. But yeah, guys, one more pose. Three, two, one. I have to answer this wisely. Is there a chance that you'll fall in love with a fan? You <laughs> know? Oh. Yeah, I've, I've oh. answered some questions regarding to this before. But for me, I'd say yes. Hello mga kapamilya, I am Martin of Deer and I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe. Don't forget to wash your hands frequently and of course wear your face masks when needed, especially when you guys are going out. But here on the show, we are sending 
one big upfront love to all our hardworking frontliners out there who are risking their lives on a daily basis. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. At uh, we are facing very challenging times right now. Pero as usual, dahil Pilipino po tayo, eh malalagpasan po natin ito at kakayanin natin ito. And here on the show also, we are sharing some good vibes right now because uh, we are going to have Quintuan upfront style with one of your favorite athletes. And also, feeling ko yung mga UAP fans dyan, mapapangiti sila. Sasaya talaga sila kasi isa sa mga lodis nila yung mga kasama natin to answer some of your questions. So without further ado, let's all welcome our guest. Kasama rin siya sa ating upfront fam. Nandito from the UP Fighting Maroons and all the way from Isabella, si Richie Rivero. Rich, how are you? Oi, hi, hi, Mart. Um, hello, upfront fam, and also, sure, naging fam ni Richie Rivero for quite some time. And um, upfront fans, sure, so we love you, namin kayo, especially the mga mga South Latin yung UAP. So yeah, let's see guys so much. Rich, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for taking time and of course para pasiyahan yung mga upfront fans natin dito. Pero I heard you are in Isabella right now. Tama ba? Apo, apo. I'm in Isabella kasi with my family rin. With your family. Your mom is from Isabella, di ba? Yeah. How was the, ano? I heard also you had a relief operations. Kamusta yung experience na yun? Pati kamusta na rin yung mga kapamilya natin dyan sa Isabella? As of now, uh, okay pa naman po yung mga dito and sobrang nag-enjoy ako dun sa, sa pagbigay ng relief foods kasi syempre, uh, though malayo kami dun sa mga may may cases, pero uh, meron talaga yung mga ibang tao diba, na nag-work sila everyday lang na yun yung, dun sila kumpuha ng income, which is hmm. ngayon mga wala. So, happy kami na yung mga tao yun, yun yung nasurve talaga namin, yun yung hinanap talaga namin, which is yung mga um, mga nagbabantay lang sa mga ano, kasi usually provinces mga ganun lang. Hmm. Tama. That's great to hear, Richie, kasi you're setting a good example para sa mga kapamilya natin na tumulong pa. But you mentioned already earlier the UAAP being cancelled, being cut short. Pero you had a great season. First season mo sa UP Fighting Maroon nitong season 82, di ba? Ikaw, ano yung biggest takeaway mo? Dahil wala na, tapos na yung season natin. Pero kayo, nakakumpleto kayo ng basketball season. Ano yung biggest moment mo pala? na natatandaan mo, yung talagang tumatak sa isip mo this past season? Unahin ko po yung feel ko maaalala ng tao about me nung, mm. nga, nung season na yun. Which is the, yung first, yung dunk ko. Ah, Kasi it's something well, na remarkable for the fans. Pero for me as, as, as a player, as part of the team, ang talagang generous ko is being able to uh, end up second nung, nung eliminations. Kasi it's something mm. that we didn't really expect. Kasi, though sabi ng mga tao na lakas ng team nyo, lakas ng lineup nyo, or whatsoever. But then, you guys know naman what we've been through or what we've went through going into that UAAP season na doon lang kami yeah. nakapag laro talaga as a team. And you had a great year. Diba? Na, lalo na nakuha nyo na yun, nakapag-gel na kayo for one year. A lot of things to look forward to if you are a UAP fan. And if you are a UP fan, they should be more excited right now. Pero speaking of excitement, Richie, I'm sure the fans are also excited uh, for your answers to their questions online. Ito po mga tinanong namin uh, sa mga upfront social media accounts natin. Kaya yung mga iba-ibang fans natin, ready na silang kung marinig yung isasagot mo. Ready ka na, Rich? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'll fire away. Sige, simulan natin kay Kashopia on Twitter. Oo, oh, oh, thrilling to, bro. Okay, abangan mo. Ayan. Ano yun? Mo, let's start off light, Rich. Ha? Let's start off light. Ano yung na-realize mo ngayong may extended community quarantine? Na na-realize ko rin na uh, sobrang sobrang kailangan natin yung uh, yung mag-unwind from from work. Mm -hmm. Kasi before siguro marami yung iniisip na as in hindi na, na natin iniisip yung sarili natin. Puro work na lang kasi kailangan ko lang ganito kasi for my family kasi ganito. Pero hindi natin naiisip yung katawan ba natin nag-respond pa or kung tayo ba physically fit pa or mentally or spiritually are we able to um, talk to God before 
no. Pero ito yung perfect timing talaga to really um, put you in a situation wherein you get to talk to God and ask Him everything, all your questions, um, your realizations, your yung mga feel mo, hindi mo pag-gets. Alright, let's move on to the next question, Rich. This is a juicy one coming off Twitter galing kay Monica. Sabi mo, Rich, you're willing to open up yourself sa love this year. Any updates on that? <laughs> uh, any updates? Uh, yeah, I'm still the Richie that you guys know. Uh, same, same. I'm still single. And for sure, you guys will be updated naman kasi hirap na kayo itago nun. Kasi, I don't know, for me lang. Uh, may napitago? May napitago kasi ako, wala nga akong naging relationship before but then, ang daming sumusunod na issues. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, like, nakasama ko lang si Ganto, na friend ko, or whatsoever, may issues na agad. So much more if meron talaga akong special someone, diba? That, that I am with all the time or most of the time. Diba? So, for sure, ma- malalaman niya rin naman yan. But then, as of now, uh, same, same po. Wala pa tayo masyado. Next question, let's move on to a lighter one here, Richie. Coming from Gansagan and uh, underscore IG. Light lang to. Ito, back oh, yeah. when you had 25 posts on TikTok, over 35 million views ka na. Ganun kakalupit. Diba? Ganun kakalupit. Ito yung question niya. Who is your TikTok idol? Lalo na nung nagsisimula ka pa lang. Sino yung mga naging inspiration mo dun? Um, for me, kasi may mga times talaga. Especially, uh, yung latter part ng no, yung latter part ng no TikTok videos ko. Um, palagi ko nakikita eh, si, si Jason Derulo talaga. Sobrang... Sobra nakakatuwa kasi yung mga videos niya. So, so parang doon ko na po yung energy na parang parang nakakagkaan sa loob na parang ang ganda-ganda tignan yung videos niya. Hey Rich, we got a follow-up question on Facebook coming from Erica Balagtas. Dahil nasa TikTok na tayo, ano yung favorite dance move mo? And can we get a sample from Rich to Rich Rivero? Well, for me, I'd say yung, yung wow talaga. Kasi yun yung nagiging transition ng lahat, di ba? Na parang every afternoon, mm. yung mga girl. Like, oh. Tapos, but then, I'd say yung, yung ginagawa ng mga, mga usually nasa mga NBA players or people from the States, yung ganun. Okay. Ah, parang, okay. it seems okay. easy. It seems easy, but then, kapag, kasi usually ginagawa yun pag marami sila magkakasama. Pero, pag titignan mo, parang, Parang ang sink nung gano'n nila. Pero, like, ako, honestly, pag tinitignan ko yung sarili ko na gano'n, parang, parang pangit tignan. Parang mm-hmm. gano'n. Pero pag tinitignan natin yung sa kanila, when, when, when they do it, parang ba't ba, ang lakas nung natin? Yung gano'n. Uh, from Morelia Yambao Marbella on Facebook as well. Ito, Rich. Have to answer this wisely. Is there a chance that you'll fall in love with a fan? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've, I've oh. answered some questions regarding to this na naman before. But for me, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. Kasi, I don't know, love, love isn't something that we can control. Eh. It's wow. hard. It's, it's unpredictable. Na parang you can't predict how, how or who to love. Diba? It's really hard na parang may mga times kaya nga yung iba parang sinasabi ba't ang tigas ng buso yung mga ganun pero mm-hmm. deep inside tayo kilala natin or alam natin sino talaga yung parang etong etong special someone na to iba yung dating kapag siya yung kausap ko ang gaan ng pakiramdam ko parang parang yung flow ng conversation namin sobrang sobrang smooth palagi so alam mo talaga na kung, kung siya talaga yun, siya talaga. So, thank you so much for answering our questions, Rich. Kamusta? Thank yes. you so much for being game. Okay, any last message to your fans, mga kapamilya natin? Siyempre, how do they, you know, stay positive, uh, especially in this time? Just take some moment every, every now and then. Uh, try natin mag-pray kasi sobrang nakakatulong talaga sa nakakagaan ng loob. Um, I wanna thank also all the frontliners. Uh, sobrang, sobrang hands-on to sa inyong lahat. And um, those people who are helping, not just 
um, in the Philippines, but um, all over the world. So yeah. Rich, thank you so much for joining us here. There you go. Give it up for Mr. Richie Rivero of the Yo, UP Fighting Maroons. There you go. Thank you so much, Rich. And para sa mga kapamilya natin, keep the fighting spirit at manatiling ligtas, syempre sa COVID-19. We'll see you next time and we'll be joined by more athletes right here on the show. This is Upfront. Upfront.